Hey guys, what's up? It's Eric with Advanced Level Automotive. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another quick video. So today, I'm really excited to share something with you guys. It's something that I've recently been informed of and I figured that if it was exciting news for me, it might be exciting news for you guys. If any of you guys know me, you know that I'm a tech junkie. I love technology. I love scan tools. I especially love the scan tools that are being made nowadays by a lot of these companies that are really trying to break down that barrier between what is a professional level scan tool and what is a DIY consumer scan tool. A lot of these newer companies are building these scan tools to give you all the functionality of let's say a high-end snap-on scan tool that could cost you well over three or four thousand dollars in a much more affordable product essentially giving the power back to the people and that's really what I'm all about I love giving the power to the people allowing them to have full control when it comes to being able to diagnose their own vehicle and at the moment no other product on the market represents that more than this little guy this is a think diag by think car now some of you watching may recognize this little guy from videos I've done in the past but if you're not familiar with this thing Essentially, what this little Bluetooth dongle is, is the same thing as this $800 plus professional level scan tool. The only difference is, this thing works with your smartphone. The new Think Diag not only gives you the capabilities of a global OBD2 scan tool, this thing also gives you the ability to communicate with your vehicle using the OEM software. That means that you have the capability of doing things like bi-directional controls, special functions such as active test, calibrations, PMIs, coding, VIN writing, immobilizer functions, adding and programming keys, the list goes on and on. So for about 130 bucks, you can have all of the capabilities and functionalities of a scan tool that costs well over $3,000 right on your smartphone. And the best part about this, I haven't even gotten to yet. If you guys remember, when this thing first came out, when I first started making videos about it, it had a pretty cool price tag, but the problem was is that it only came with two free OEM softwares for one year. That means if you wanted to add additional manufacturer software, let's say if you had a Ford and a GM vehicle, and then you also wanted to have the software for a Honda or a Toyota, you had to pay an extra subscription for any additional software and that software had to be updated every year. Now honestly, that really wasn't such a bad deal considering this thing gives you the capability of a scan tool that costs, like I said, well over $3,000 right in the palm of your hand. So if that deal wasn't good enough for you to buy it the first time around, you're definitely going to want to pick it up now because at the moment they are running a promotional deal Now I don't know how long it's going on. But right now, if you buy the Think Diag, you get all of the OEM manufacturer software that are available for American, European, Asian, all of the OEM software you get free for one year upon buying this unit. That is a freaking amazing deal. On top of that, I've got a coupon code that's going to save you even more money when you go to check out. That coupon code is gonna be in the description below the video. Yes, the coupon code does expire, so make sure not to let too much time go by before you try to make a decision because, like I said, I don't know how long this deal is gonna be around, but right now, you can get this unit for less than $130, and it comes with all OEM manufacturer software free for one year. Honestly, guys, I would not be recommending a product on my channel if I didn't already vigorously test it and believe that this product was worth the money and if it met my standards and I can tell you right now after testing literally dozens of scan tools this thing by far is the best bang for your buck and the coolest part of this video is that I'm actually giving one away for free so somebody watching this now is going to be taking this puppy home stay tuned till the end of the video to find out how you can win this let me show you guys how this works. I'm going to go ahead and plug it into my 2008 Ford Explorer. Make sure to locate your OBD2 plug. Mine is right here, so I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. You guys can see it lights up green. I'm going to go ahead and turn the ignition on. I've got the key right here. The key is on. Next up, I'm going to take my iPhone and I'm going to open up this Think Diag app. You can download it in your app store. Uh, this is also compatible with Android devices. Now when you open up the app, this is what it looks like. 
And again, you can go into global OBD2 functions. This will just give you generic data. Um, but if you really want to get in detail, we can go into the all system diagnosis right here. This is what's going to give us the OEM software. And again, they have OEM software for pretty much any manufacturer you can think of. Uh, right now, we are connected to a Ford, so I'm going to go ahead and Bluetooth connect. You guys can see that we are connected. And if you take a look at the dongle down there, it turned blue, indicating that we are connected here. We'll hit confirm. It has detected our VIN number. We are in our Ford OEM software. We're going to go ahead and click on Explorer. And if you guys look in this menu here, we essentially have all of the functionalities of a high-level scan tool. We can do health reports, system scan. Uh, we can do our system selection, special functions, module programming, which includes PMI. So if we go in here, you can see we got programmable module installation. Um, if we go back here, we can go into special functions. And we have all different kinds of special functions we can do. Reset, keep alive memory. We can do a relative compression test. We can do a power balance. Uh, we can do transmission, all different kinds of stuff. Um, we can also go into our system selection and we can go ahead and select, let's say the uh, PCM here, which is our powertrain control module. And in here, you guys can see we can pull up module information, which gives us the uh, computer part number and the computer information there. We'll go ahead and hit confirm. We can also read fault codes. Of course, pretty much any scan tool can do that. Uh, right now, we don't have any fault codes because I recently replaced the EGR valve uh, doing a repair on this thing, so we should not have any trouble codes. As you can see, we have a P1000, which means that um, the check engine light was recently cleared and it hasn't finished doing the system readiness. I still need to drive it. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and go back on this thing. Um, we could go into uh, actuation tests and take a look at all of the different actuation or bi-directional controls that we can use. We take a look at this list, bi-directional controls that we have. We've got the exhaust gas recirculation valve, duty cycle, which is what I actually use to diagnose our EGR valve problem. We've got some EVAP canister uh, vent valve, the uh, vapor management valve. Um, we have this fuel pump, fuel pump gear command, uh, different output tests we can do, pressure solenoids in the transmission, starter motor control output, uh, spark advance, we got shift solenoids, torque converter clutch solenoids. I mean, all of these bi-directional controls that we have with this little scan tool. We can also look into our special functions. Again, uh, this is pretty much what we saw at the beginning here. We can do power balance test. If you guys are not familiar with the power balance on Fords, um, that is a good way to find out whether or not you have a misfire or the engine has to be running for this. So let me go ahead and start the engine up. And take a look at that. We have our power balance graph just like we do on our $1,000 plus scan tool. Same exact thing. Let's go back out and we can take a look at, again, the actuation test, bi-directional controls. We can go ahead and do that exhaust gas recirculation one, or we can open up the EGR solenoid. And, you know, one of the reasons you might want to do this is because, you know, you want to make sure that you don't have a block passage for the EGR valve to the intake manifold, uh, because that can cause different EGR codes or EGR flow codes. So again, right now we're at 0%. We could add some data pits to take a look at. Um, if we scroll through here, we should have one for the differential pressure sensor. There we go, delta feedback pressure exhaust for circulation. So we'll take a look at that. As you guys can see, uh, that DPF sensor is at 0 0.047 volts. We're gonna go ahead and hit this little check mark here. You guys can see the plus. We're gonna go ahead and raise the percentage here. We're up to 10%. Uh, let's go up a little bit more here, 20%, go a little bit higher, 30%, let's try to get this all the way up, 50%, I don't know if you guys can hear the way the engine is running, it sounds like crap and that's because we are opening up this EGR valve all the way, so it's acting like it's got a big vacuum leak right now. This is a good sign, this is indicating the we have a nice clean port for the EGR valve to the intake manifold. Again, you guys can see we're at 100% duty cycle on the EGR valve solenoid. And if you take a look at the delta pressure feedback sensor, we're at about two volts indicating that the sensor is working. Our EGR valve is opening. Everything is functioning like it should. Let's go ahead and back out of the test. And this is going to reset it. If you guys can hear the engine went running back to normal. Again, the functions don't stop here. 
I mean, we can go back out to uh, system selection and find, uh, let's say, the instrument cluster, which I believe is where the PAT system is located on this thing. So we can go into special functions and take a look here. We have access to the PAT's anti-theft system. Of course, whenever you do this, it makes you wait 10 minutes so that you can gain access to the PAT security system. So if you take a look here, it does do parameter resets. So if you guys replace engine computers on Fords that require a parameter reset, you can do that with this tool. But I'm gonna go ahead and cancel and back out here. I just wanted to show you guys that that function is available. We could also probably go to, let's say the BCM, which is the body control module, which in this case I believe is the GEM module. Let's go ahead and click on that. And we can read data streams where we can take a look here. We have a full list of all different data PIDs. I mean, this gives us everything. All of the different information that we could possibly want to look at, uh, even involving body controls, TPMS. Uh, we can go into special functions. You know, here we can program remotes. Um, we can do PMIs as well. Uh, you can go to actuation test. I mean, take a look at the list of different actuation tests that we have here. We've got fog lamp, horn control driver. I mean, all different kinds of stuff. I can go to the horn control driver and let's go ahead and see if we can activate our horn. Hit off. Wow, that was loud. I thought it was going to beep one time, but it actually holds it. Uh, so let's go ahead and back out of the horn one. Um, yeah, all different kinds of stuff. We have access to the restraint control module, which is the airbag module. So if we have any airbag issues, we can come in here, do actuation tests, special functions. Again, all different kinds of stuff. Really, there's too much for me to list or to show you in just this short video. Like I said, any scan tool that you find that costs $1,000, anything that scan tool can do, this thing can do it all. Now, the only thing that I will say that you may be sacrificing when using this versus like a high-end level scan tool is the screen size. You know, you're kind of limited by the size of your phone. If you take a look at the data pins that I have up here, these are the oxygen sensors. And if you go ahead and put it into a graphing mode, you can see that you're kind of limited to the size of the screen um, and the fact that you cannot um, combine two graphs together you kind of have to look at them individually, which is still helpful. But again, something that you are sacrificing when you choose to use this tool. Anyway, like I said, I am going to be giving this away. All you have to do to enter to win, go ahead and post a non-offensive comment into the comment section of this video and you will be entered to win. I will be going live Sunday at noon, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time here in the United States of America. I don't know what time that is, wherever it is you're located, so make sure to find out. But like I said, I will be going live to announce the winner, so good luck to you all. And if you don't win, don't worry. Like I said, I've got a special coupon code in the description. Make sure to click on the link to check it out. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.